Jack Harlow. Three, two, one. Bam. Welcome back to PTC. That's Pool Table Chatter for our new listeners out there. I'm Mike Hancock. And with me always... It's not your boy. Now listen. It's not. We're going to say some ignorant and insensitive thing. These are our opinions. I, this boy, a.k.a. Luke Powell, and... Hey, Mike Hancock, a.k.a. Mike Burden. We ask you to hold us accountable for our action today and forgive us for our words from yesterday. Now, we might as well address the elephant in the room. Not literally an elephant, but... Oh, yeah, I'm like, man, this man's been losing I'm just saying, I'm not, I'm not <laughs> saying, I'm not saying that, but you know, I mean, yes, everybody, slim, sir. everybody's been watching, I mean, everybody that can see it, they've been watching, they're like, hold on, what? There's somebody just sitting there, you know what? Let's just tell them about who this is. And this I'm John Doe. Oh, John if you didn't Doe. know. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. How you doing? All right, yeah, he's here, fun. Yeah. Cool, fun, whatever, so... Now y'all know. <laughs> right, John Doe. We're going to start off today with uh, the ice storm that popped off. Uh, yeah, that's pretty, yeah, wow. Yeah. Frozen. Pretty trapped for a while. Right. So I was sliding around on that ice pretty crazy. Yeah, 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 yeah. We don't get into it. We don't get into it. We don't get into it. Oh, it's safe, it's safe for the top. Of course, got the jack shits. Got the jack shit on JLP. All right, let's stay on topic. What is topic? We're on number two. We're running down. You can tell right what number two is. Six nine is trolling. Everybody, 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 everyb
branches. Yeah, it was kind of beautiful though. Yeah, like, definitely. It was a beautiful it, disaster. Yeah, right? through it, like looking at it, like it, it was just entire trees and cased in ice. Yeah, it's it like was gorgeous. Control chaos. Out of control chaos. Was what's chaos. supposed to chaos. happen? It's it's like entropy. It's yeah. like nothing you can do about it. <laughs> it's yeah. like right. That's how it's, it's intended to go. Absolutely. That shit was crazy. It was just like somebody just had like grinded yeah. ice from a snow cone and was just chucking it. <laughs> was just chucking the shit. It was just falling out the sky, but it's like a, it was like God like halfway made a slushy just started pouring. Man. He's like, oh, I don't want the rest of this. <laughs> I just started pouring it out. Bro. I went out the next day, right? My trampoline was like frozen over just yeah. a little bit the first time. Just enough to crack. And I was like, kept coming. Well, I seen it was like, I seen this video one time. Somebody jumped on one. It looked like a donut icing, like when you bite into mm. it. And I was like, I'm going to do that. I went to step on the trailer. I fucking fell off of it. <laughs> I about fell off of it. I hit the shit. It was. I was like, fuck this. Yeah. Then I didn't do it. Fuck it. I bet you did, dude. And, then, and the next thing you know, ice was like huge, ridiculous. Can't do it, bro. So look, prepare for the ice at any time. Prepare for all weather. To be honest, because you don't know what's next. <laughs> you won't prepare for all the snow, gonna fly, bro. Night, oh, it's about to be a wet. Don't do I'm that. wet. I'm really, April. I'm really wanting to start a start a garden. You know. Yeah. I'm like inside or like outside? Outside garden. Yeah. Do like uh, tomatoes. And, um. Fucking uh. Just like compost? corn, potatoes. I mean that shit's coming up. Uh, you know, he uh, now the frost. The best thing to do is get fertilizer. Really. Yeah. Yeah. Make sure it's water. Water. I'm not I'm sure it's it's fresh. Sunlight. For sure. Soil you could probably get a five gallon bucket and like prepare it inside of your house at first mm. just to fuck with it. Yeah, see so how it does. A few ladybugs. I mean, it's like, uh, I feel like you need like a lot of natural light. You yeah. just set it outside at that point. Yeah. Yeah. But That'd be super annoying. I wish you the best of luck. I'm not yeah. going to be growing on damn shit. We had a plant <laughs> called Chester for my kid and he, he, he drowned him. I mean, that's kind of hard to see what grow. He gave him I mean, like, Maybe you could grow a lot of potatoes. You know what I mean? For sure. There's, there's like maybe some mushrooms or something. <laughs> <laughs> it was going good for a little bit. There you go. Maybe it's some shrooms are pop up. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's how shrooms grow. Hey, you don't plant shrooms. No, it's cow shit, right? Yeah, yeah you don't yeah, plant yeah. shrooms. Yeah, that's what fertilizer is. I, mean, it's not, I don't think it's going to pop out of you for me. That's what fertilizer is. Yeah, it's cool. I, yes. I understand that, but like, nah. Yeah, I don't want to go that. You need that legit shit. <laughs> legit shit. <laughs> like you're not, 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 not packing the fur like you're not, not I have a dog. Alright, look through your dog shit for some mushrooms. Look through your dog shit for some mushrooms and tell me what happened. No, I mean you can you that shovel it into the garden. Right. Dog shit. Sparingly, you can like keep bags know. of it. I mean it's like that's that's what they did. I mean, it makes sense. I know. I'm not. I'm not sure how to say that. Just be terrible on yard. If we didn't have water running, I would shit in the garden. I mean, you get a rake, I guess, way first. You to said die. that. Well, I was content. You get a shit rake? Hey. Yeah, pretty much. The shit rake? The shit rake? That's, that's how you shit. clean out a that makes, Yeah, that makes a lot of stuff. Yeah. Like, you get know, like a shovel and you clean out like stables and shit. It would almost work with every animal. Stables and shit. Yeah. I mean, that's what that's what plants grow from. You gotta stabilize the shit. And then <laughs> make the, yeah. The Back to the ice storm, though. You guys definitely <laughs> should have been more careful. If you wrecked, I'm sorry. I hope you, hope you are getting better. I hope you didn't but wreck. just be smart, you know? Sometimes you don't always have to go out. No sense of risking any lives. Yeah, mm -hmm. you know, this COVID is going on too, just in case I forgot. And if you feel the need to go out, contact your local redneck. <laughs> he won't let you know. He's, he'll tell you. He's out doing donuts right now. He'll definitely come oh, pick I've you up. Oh, I've definitely seen a couple people attend donuts. After you. The Jack shit. Jack shit. Pie. Is J-O-P. being presented by Mike Hancock. I mean, it's your Jackson. Group. Yeah, okay, all right, yeah. <laughs> it's me. Is it today? We're gonna shit on preventable state failures. It does include Texas, because not only are you like one of the the few states that's not connected to the power grid, connected to other states that could have helped you through the power storm, you're now charging people with your electric companies. Outrageous fucking bill. We're talking like ten grand a month, and you only got a lecture for four days. That's ridiculous. And during a pandemic, like, and people say middle of the pandemic, we don't know how long this shit's gonna last. It was something that you can't prevent the ice storm. You couldn't do it. You could have prepared for it. You knew some stuff you had to fix, and that's not the only thing that happens. Remember Katrina when that shit happened? 
because they didn't follow any of the rules, put the right sandbags up. All that stuff was documented and supposed to be fixed, but they never did. Stop letting states fail on their own. If our motto is united we stand, obviously divided we're fallen. You know what I'm saying? We're not united, bro. We just, we've never been united. Right. We're Since not. the Articles of no Confederation, they've, been, they've had that mindset, but then they realized it didn't work, but they still wanted to keep doing that shit. I mean, all, all I'm saying is it's like, it's the United States, you know? It's like we're supposed to be able to... Uh, help each other? Yeah, Stay together. Other, you know? I know, yeah. but they're trying to help each other, but they're, they're only for their own benefit. It's right? more like staying on top of each other. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's like it's more like standing on you so I can get higher. Yeah, exactly. Whatever it takes to climb that ladder. The point is, the government needs to look into individual states who are not willing to change with the times and force that state into doing something that's going to be great one day for their state, whether yeah. they believe it or not. No. Like connecting the power grid to your state so your shit doesn't go out. No, I don't think so. I don't think the Fed has to go that far. I think the Fed the only have to do is ensure that the state can keep their citizens like okay. If if you have your own energy supply grid, then the Fed should be able to like help you maintain that supply grid. By connecting to it? I mean not necessarily having to connect to it, but making sure you can keep it intact and working in case something like this happens. Like, you don't have to be part of us. But it sounds like a backup plan. Like, we're here just in case. Like, it's insurance. Basically, yeah. They're still being connected to it. They didn't do it. Stop, Texas. And your governor left before the ice storm hit. I want to talk about Ted Cruz. Ted Cruz. Fuck you, Ted Cruz. Yeah. He's a fucking dickhead. It's like, oh, yeah, look, I'm going out here. But you guys be all right, okay? You guys let me know. I'll be back. Crazy. That's gonna wrap up the jack shit, guys. Put in the comments. Maybe there's something you want to shit on. Maybe something you yeah, want to shit about. Maybe we can have a commentary jack shit at one time. Not a problem. It'd be very easy. I'm sure. <laughs> It'd be the shit, Jack. Next up, we're gonna talk about how Six Nine has been trolling people. Six Nine has been on the internet saying rest in piss. <laughs> rest in piss. To people like King Von. Yeah. He be, he said he said um R P to like Nipsey and, and and Pop Smoke and all that because they didn't have security on them, that's why they died. And that people were trying to see him without security, so he, they could call him stupid and dumb. Uh and he pulled up on I don't know if he pulled up or he sat and waited on <laughs> Meek Mill. He was waiting for him to like, like, try and chat. At a him. fucking club or something like that. Outside of a club. Recording each other, yelling at each other's face with security guards standing in between them, right? Yeah. Now, if you've been online talking about how as soon as you see this dude, you're going to smack him. You, you, you're going to do all this other shit. You're going to... Pick gonna me up, drop me. Make Just him like an example. Said. You're going to make an example out of him. And then you see him and all you're doing is talking. What do you think that person is? Talking shit is too much. not necessary, man. What would you call a person that's talking shit about somebody else? And then the person that everybody's calling pussy actually pulls up on the dude to say he's going to beat his ass. And the dude that says he's going to beat his ass just has his man standing between them like... <laughs> he's like, everybody's in my way. I'll <laughs> yeah. you up. What, what would you say? A, what would you... It's such a fucking waste of time. It's, a, it's, like, it's huge. Like, why, like why, why get into that just like fucking petty argument? Why even put yourself... In harm's way, it's like, it's like if you're if you're really that desperate for attention, why don't you just fucking shoot yourself in the head? Like if you're really if you're really pulling that <laughs> pussy of a move, why don't you just fucking like take it to the next step, go go big or go home? He's you know not I mean? gonna kill it's himself. Like, he wants somebody to kill him. Yeah, but he's Man, a fucking this clown. Is, this, suicide this, booth this, 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 this is the, the 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 my big hot take for the year. Six times I'm gonna die this year. He's going to die. He's going to die this year? That's the hot take? You concur? I hope not. I hope he... God hope bless him. He's going to die this year. And if he doesn't die this year, he'll die in less than five years. But because he wants to. He's trying to go towards people <laughs> who are saying, I'm going to kill you. And he's pulling up on him saying, all right, kill me. 
That looks down like somebody to me who wants Fuck to it. die. Fucking Uzi put a, put a $24 million <laughs> diamond in his, yeah, in his no fucking one. forehead. Think about that. That's just like, that's just like, if you want to be rich, come kill me. Like, like that's, yeah, that's, that's a Uzi verse. You see like, me and Mike talk about it. on like, this episode. Yeah. Man. That's the that's 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 theft of the century. But, but you like think. Breaking into his house and like, just like extracting it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like for him? Yeah, just like taking it out. On no. his way down, just oh, holding it. Supposedly, yeah. supposedly, I hear, I hear, I've heard a rumor that it would kill him if it was removed. Oh. You ever hear just, that rumor? You think he just bleed out? Maybe. Possibly. I mean, it's like, I think his skull might lose, like, <laughs> oh, there's like, gotta be, like, You think that holds in on his musical uh, ability? I think it might hold in his fucking brain juice. <laughs> That's crazy. Possibly. I didn't think about that. Maybe. Maybe. It's like, that like, was like, like pretty fucking deep. Mm, that's why it's pink. From what I understand. Well, it might just be born in October. But so so you're equating his trolley to fucking Six Nine Trolley? I think his. his he said that they're Uzi reaching out for no reason. Way better. I mean. Lil Uzi Bird is doing it right. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Where would you put it at? Like. So it's a $24 million diamond. Put it on your body. Man. My pocket. <laughs> Your body. <laughs> I mean, it's like it's like he put, it, he put it on his forehead. Like, I don't think I can top that, bro. It's like, <laughs> it's like I wouldn't even try. Maybe my eye. <laughs> you know what I mean? Just like. Yeah, baby. Yeah, that's a pirate it's ship. Like, I just <laughs> wanted my, the life to be like a kaleidoscope. That's all I wanted. When I turn my head, everything. Moves. No, well, why would you put the diamond in your eye? <laughs> You know, I just wanted to shine all the time, and all the time I shine. <laughs> I, I, I got a sick of watching y'all. <laughs> it's like a wink money at people. Oh, no, 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 no. You should make it a, like a tooth. <laughs> like move like a whole set of teeth. But it'd be like a whole, yeah, that'd yeah. be ridiculous. You have to get like you a, a jaw food. lift. <laughs> you need any food, though, at that point. That you have to drink tea. everything. Yeah. That's like the whole I mean, You don't want that? You might just wipe them out, break the twenty four million dollars down, and get you a oh, whole yes. tooth set. Get those, yeah. get those, get those shark teeth, like like riff raff. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Somebody called me riff raff one time. I was like, this motherfucker. Come on. <laughs> I was like, this motherfucker. Um, you got me. My man gone. You got it. me. What is the one? All right, I don't you, know nobody. All, right. all right, I guess this is gonna be a topic. I'm gonna just bring up the question right here because we just been talking about everything. Well, I mean, it can always be. What is the two? Rappers that you two are most um, compared to, because you got the two white rappers, and I assume that you got by people or by ourselves. By people, like what do people compare y'all to the most? I've been called Logic by a friend. Remember him? Said I sounded like Logic. I've been told I sound like Action Bronson. I've been told Mac Miller once. You know what I mean? It's like, I think people really just see that I'm white and they're like, Man. they're like, white rapper, white rapper, white rapper, white rapper. I caught, <laughs> I caught Riff Raff. But I mean, it might be true. I mean, it's like, a, we might it's just have white more. people rap styles. Yeah. Lil Dicky. Especially yeah, after, uh, Lil Dicky's hard. The Get Swifty yeah. Squared, yeah. After the like Get Swifty Squared thing happened, everybody yeah. was like, oh, you're like Lil Dicky? It's like, I saw him on Dicky didn't sound like that, but. He killed it on Sway and Dave. Yeah. Dave was a good ass TV Dave show. Dave was a good yeah. show. Yeah, I, I'm Dave. I figured it would, yeah, it would be Lil Dicky. That would be the, the one that both of y'all could compare to the most. I think it's like the most popping white dude within the last five years. You think so? Oh, Duck said that you sound like Dave. Then um, Lil, Lil Dicky. Occasionally. When, I when I was on, I was on you the free, I was on the freestyles and then uh, fuck you. Mm-hmm. And the SoundCloud was just real popular. Yeah, yeah, yeah. SoundCloud. You don't know John Doe on Instagram. Instagram. We'll put a link right uh, down there. Yeah. In the description. John Doe, SoundCloud. Um, fuck you. Just look that one up. John Doe, fuck well, you. Literally, fuck John Doe, fuck you. Not literally, fuck yeah. you. John Doe, fuck and you. It's D O U G H. Yeah, like Doe <laughs> Pizza. The dough boy. I don't even know, boy. Yeah, what? man. Just my show one fuck. Just stop. And you might be right. He might hey, be gone this year. And hey, 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 Meek Mill? Hey, any rapper that's entertaining him. Stop. <laughs> why? <laughs> no, why? Move away from the You're child. validating him, bro. Move like, away from the child. But I don't understand why you like, but giving him that shot. I'm giving him a shot because it's what? I'm like, what the fuck am I, bro? What the it fuck happens, bro. You know what I mean, dude? 
I mean, I need, I need my fucking views and I need my fucking clock coins right now, bro. <laughs> but, but but if I was fucking if I was Drake, like obviously Drake, not gonna talk about him. You know what I mean? Drake never said anything about six. Drake don't give a shit. Yeah, bro. He probably thinks he's mad annoying. Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, bro, why is this little mother? Y'all really like this little mother? Y'all still like this little motherfucker still here? Huh. He probably didn't even talk about it. He's probably just like, he's probably just like, hey, you but, know what I'm saying? But, like, but nah, think about it. Nicki Minaj and Drake are cool. Yeah. Nicki Minaj does a lot of fucking business with Six Nine. Yeah. That nigga Drake is clowning him. <laughs> yeah, for sure. <laughs> that nigga Drake's like, you fucking. With- oh my god. And he's probably and Drake somewhat have a friendship with me now or whatever the fuck, right? Yeah. He probably clowning him too. He's like, bro, your old girl is fucking with him. And you, <laughs> you over here. Come off it, bro. Come yeah, down. bro. Come on, bro. All you niggas done goofy. All you dudes getting mad because he's saying R.I.P. to your peoples and, you know, disrespecting them. Bro, what you think he's going to do? Like, you gotta. Uh, my best advice to you is do something silently, bro. <laughs> right. Move silently, like lasagna and G. Just water into the fridge. That's uh, not the time, but. I know it's because the Sunnyvale. Oh yeah. Because Ricky would say he wouldn't say water in the fridge. Don't fly unless you're a shitty hog. Next up, Bobby's finally free. He's out, y'all. He's been free. Bobby Schmurda. Bobby Smarter. Right. Uh, who admitted? What was he in for? He admitted to I think it was conspiracy with um, another person, Bobby Little, and they both got. I can't remember how much time. Six, seven years? It's been a grip. It's been a grip. <laughs> Akko Jean Pollard. Pollard? Oh my God. His real name? Yeah. Aquil. Aquil Jean Pollard. Aquil Jean Pollard. That's, that's, that's how I can say it, yeah. Who is it? 94? He's my age. <laughs> yeah, he's only 26, boy. Yeah, he, he, been, he did the time, boy. He spent most of that time in jail. Well, not most of that. Most of his adult life in jail. Yeah. He had nearly seven years in prison, and, and he won't be out of trouble until 2026. He's going to be like... He's going on probation. Yeah, not like a house arrest situation, but he's definitely going to be under some like pressure. Like, I'm pretty sure he admitted to conspiracy, which is, you know, probably said something in the music about killing somebody, right? And... They finally found evidence of somebody dying and him being associated with a group of people. Now, he took a plea deal instead of standing on trial for gang conspiracy. Oh, so he admitted to something else? He didn't tell anybody anything. So he said it, it was him or some shit, it seems like. You struck, you struck a plea deal, meaning you did it for a certain amount of time, rather than stand trial on a gang conspiracy oh. with criminal weapon possession. So. Instead of admitting to being in a gang, he said, I did this because I wanted to do this, basically. I think a little bit like that, yeah. He's like, no, this is me. I know my, like, I have the motive, da da da. Like, yeah. And it just took a certain amount of time for that. Yeah. Instead of having to stand on trial hoping to get some, something else. Like, and they would just, they would just try to use him to get information about. You know, they wouldn't have given him no 6 9 treatment, basically. Yeah, yeah. They wouldn't have been like, hey, you start talking to us now, you're going to be out in like two years versus all these yeah. years going to be stuck for 20. And he he basically probably got 20 for uh, the conspiracy thing. Yeah. And I, I mean, if it was, uh, the, you say, gun possession and all that other shit, yeah. he would have got like 10 or 20. I think that was like uh, 15 to 25 or something. Hey, this man's 5'4. Why did you search his height? <laughs> if you type Bobby Smurda at height, was one of the clicked and it's like he's 5'4. Oh he's right there with old dude. Who the blue ball? I know, old dude just shot Meg. <sighs> Tori. Tori. He's yeah, only like 5'4, right? Oh, he also uh, talk about Tori and Meg. he been denied the rights to talk about the case publicly. Man. Which probably means he either did it or they have cannot determine whether he's done it or not. <laughs> Man, so something. Fuck my nigga. Yeah, he's he's bugging. That's crazy. Bobby's free. Quavo over here got him. Fucking like they presented him. They like they treated him like he was like a king for him. Yeah. And they gave him all this shit. <laughs> what you supposed to do? But kept it real. Kept it a buck. He didn't tell him. Nobody told him himself. That's that's how you're supposed to go down <laughs> by yourself. You know what I mean? It's like yeah, I did it. It was me. 
Oh, oh, was it, was it, so and so and so and so that? I just told you it was me. <laughs> you know what I mean? Cool. So, so niggas how to do it. So niggas that you can live afterwards. <laughs> right. But you can be cool after fucking getting out of jail and not telling on somebody. Right. And some people are going to mention you in the something. Especially Joyner. <laughs> Any chance he can to bring up Bobby does. Does he? I've heard in a couple of songs. I know he did a lot like that. I mean, I mean hey, I like to play Joyner and jump in the shower. And you hear Bobby. <laughs> That's going to be it, though, for Bobby Free. Glad you're out. Who are we going free next? Shit, hopefully not, nobody gets charged. Like, rappers need to stop Who going to jail and dying right now. Like, they need to just chill for a minute. They don't know how to chill because they have to live up to their name. Get off 100. They need to open up a uh, tour so these motherfuckers have something to do. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're right. These motherfuckers are sitting around with just music in their playlist, dropping whatever they want. <laughs> it's like, you know what, I'm bored. Yeah, I drop that. <laughs> <laughs> It's music time. Is it? We brought them. Is that it? Oh, yeah. Daft Punk yeah, is music. gone, bro. Daft Punk's gone. Apparently. <laughs> is it, they're saying farewell. Oh. Like they're done making music? Yeah. I was told recently to check into somebody named Wheeler Walker. Wheeler Walker? Who is this? Wheeler Tell Walker Jr. This man. Wheeler Junior. Walker Jr. is a country artist. Okay. Who's a comedian. Yeah. Who's white. All right, all right. Who's famous for saying N words in his music? That's not a problem. Oh. But the last country dude, remember that guy? What's his name again? Which country guy? The last one that said Morgan the N word. Morgan Wallen. Morgan so Wallen. So everybody in the country world shit all over that guy. Uh huh. However, Wheeler Walker Jr. eats no shit at all. Huh. Because he's a comedian. He's allowed to do it. Yeah. What are you guys' thoughts on that? I mean, I don't know how he's using it, so I can't say. But yeah. also. Also. Hey, bro, who who giving these people excuses to say nigga? Man, yeah. It's not niggas. <laughs> it's not niggas. Because <laughs> the more niggas don't know they're saying nigga. <laughs> yeah, that's not going to hit nobody's radar. No. No. Who the fuck knows who Willow Walker Jr. Yeah. is? I didn't even know that. I, th- I think it's just kind of a respect thing to not say it to somebody. It's else. a WW Jr. <laughs> <laughs> I don't give a fuck about you, bro. Weirdo. And then as for the I mean, music what's, stuff, what's the worst name that a white person can be called? Racist? Yeah. Racist. racist. Nothing that offends a white person <laughs> like being called racist. Yeah. I done debated two apologies from you. <laughs> you know what two <laughs> for a name. Yeah. <laughs> I don't give a mad at you. I kind of hate being, I, I really hate being called racist because it's like, um, no, I, was, I, was, I, was, I was born in Washington. My, my, best, my, my best friend was a black kid, like, like, black as night, growing up. I moved to an island called Guam. My dad was in the Navy. I lived there, like, uh, I lived Holy in Washington fuck. State. I was thinking you was on a church resort when you mentioned that earlier. <laughs> you lived in Guam. Yeah, yeah. Like, okay, uh, continue, my bad. So, Washington State is where I was born. I was born in Bremerton, across the bay from Seattle. I, I remember going to see the uh, Space Needle you know, the Seahawks, the ocean, the fish markets, the harbors. It was raining all the fucking time as well. Uh, it, was, it was pretty dope, honestly. Like, uh, I mean, I still like the rain. Like the rain, too. too. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. I, I love the rain. But, <laughs> I um, like the rain. Do you, you don't like the rain? I don't hate the rain. You don't yeah. like it, though, do you? I, I just think it's funny y'all said that, though. Yeah. <laughs> You appreciate little things in life. But, um, rain? Rain. After that, after rain, that, I moved rain. to, I moved to Guam. Which is a U.S. territory. Uh, during World War II, the Japanese used it. They captured it uh, in order to launch the 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 planes to attack Pearl Harbor. Yeah. Like so, they captured the island. They like rounded them up, put them into fucking camps. Uh, they would starve them, beat them, and shit. They uh uh, uh they like threw uh, chicken bones into caves. And then they would throw grenades after them. Yeah. Yeah. And um, one of my teachers at this school, uh, she was a Chamoran language instructor. Because uh, they're the Chamoran people on Guam. It's like they have their own language as well. It's um, like, like, all I can really remember from it was like half a day. 
And like that means it's like it's like what's up, bro? It's like half a day, what's up, bro? You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It's like that was just how they talked. They were they were Americanized because like uh, uh, the teacher that I was talking about, she taught me like Chamorin how to make like coconut candy there, um, and uh, her her fucking like father or grandfather or something like that. I think it was her dad, like rode out and found a fucking like U.S. like a uh, like Navy ship. And like told them about what was going on, like you know what I mean. Like he he did that for them, uh, and like uh, like his people, and the Americans came back and like fucking fought off the Japanese off of like Guam. You know what I mean? Helped the people like come back from that as well. So that's why I hate being called racist because I'm like, bro, because it's more. You're not even from the United States, like. <laughs> it's not, like like I mean, it's like I, I grew up on an island with like with like Chamorin people. Like that don't mean you're not racist. Yeah, I mean, it, I mean, I'm saying that I'm cultural. He doesn't have the mentality of culture of the United States that yeah. a white person would carry. Yeah. Okay, I, get that. I, I have I get a different that. perspective. I, get that. I was I was born in like I was born in a different place. The most formative. I mean, like, racist years of my Africans. Life. There are. Yeah. Yeah, there like, are. They're not yeah. from here either. That's that's what it sucks is because it's like I'm white, so whenever I'm in Kentucky, I'm lumped in with the racist well, people, racist and I'm Kentuckians. like, I'm an islander. You mean stereotype? I'm an islander. White. Yes. <laughs> like, I don't get what you guys like. We all from you know I mean? Yeah, exactly. I'm like, bro. Like, <laughs> can we chill? <laughs> like, can we uh, chill? Yeah. We can doing. chill. But what's that? I've been kidding with you for a while, but. <laughs> But I like shit. <laughs> <laughs> we call somebody an offensive term multiple times when they tell you not to. You kill this thing when they call you racist, right? What do you mean? We call somebody a nigga like ten times in a row and they tell you not to. You said I could say it. I, <laughs> I, I, when I Say stop. Do you? And you still do it, still, particularly to make that person mad. Do you have a previous problem? <laughs> no, he did this one time. Yeah. <laughs> and he thinks that. Have I done it since? No. <laughs> you gave out a no. That one that first. Have bro, I done it since? <laughs> I'm. Bro, this is my point, bro. I don't think you understand it. You got the bomb, bro. You understand? You're, like, you're, not, like, you're, like, you're not getting at all what I'm trying to say. Oh man. Of course, crazy. somebody's gonna stereotype you if. <laughs> If you say stereotypical shit. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> like nobody's gonna know you're Chamori, nobody you don't there's nothing to yeah. do that's like a Guatemalan here or a, a Guamian. You can't just uh, display your Guamian culture here like out yeah. really. You could just somehow get caught hanging out with somebody with a Confederate flag. Oh shit, look at him. I mean, but it's like I, half the people I know have a Confederate flag. Like you know, what I, I mean, that's my that's my like, point. Like I also grew up in Berea. I don't call like, everybody with a Confederate flag racist either. But if everybody else around me does, I can't understand why. Because most of the time, the people with the Confederate flag are gonna respond right. with some racist shit. If most people are, if they're not racist, and somebody calls them racist, they're not gonna yeah. reply with something that's gonna make me think they're even more racist. Yeah. If I see a compare, like, I point it out and tell them to take that shit down. I mean, it's I don't like, even do that. I don't even care. On top of that, like, who hasn't said something stupid, you know? Yeah, you say something. Yeah, people say stupid stuff. Yeah, I mean, it's like everybody does growing up. I just don't, know? like, hey, bro, everybody's racist. Yeah. <laughs> At least for a while. I think everybody is racist <laughs> for a while. I, I, think, I think that people get up to speed, like, at different times. Uh, you know yeah, I mean? bro. Some people, like, some I people, think there's a time and place for racist. Yeah, like comedy. Yeah. There's a time and place for racism. Like comedy or, or, or entertainment where, you know, obviously those type of things. <laughs> a group of people. This you know? <laughs> not, not, like, not like I'm sitting in a group of people. This is just a watch this show. You gotta watch your show. Like a TV like, show. Like, just like, like, writing a TV show, you to, might put a stereotype in there. To, to, to be human is to be a, a, a competitor in, in this fucking, like, game of life, you know? No. It's like, it's like uh, you, you have to use your, like, your, like, innate strengths. It's like... Me being white, and and me being like from the way that I am, it's like I have certain advantages. Like I mean, um, uh, it's like your shampoo's closer. Hey, I don't know. Well, like, I remember the, uh, that's what I'm saying. It's it's like I guess that's what white privilege is. You, you know, it's like, like, I remember watching. A joke. I don't even know what I'm blessed for. You know, Trevor Noah, but no, it wasn't Trevor. It was a random ass African comedian. He's like. <laughs> 
he's he, he look comedian, so he has money. He's like, mm-hmm. I want some money. So he saw this like dude with hobo sitting on the street, so he's gonna give him some money to like, to see him how he's doing or whatever. Mm-hmm. And he just asking the dude how he got in that position or whatever. Yeah. And then that hobo asked him where he was from, and he told him, "I'm from Africa." Yeah. Like, you know, I'm like, I'm, I'm originally from Africa. I'm really from Africa mm-hmm. or whatever. The hobo gave him. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> the hobo gave him his money back. He said, "Oh, bro, this is cool. I'm white. I understand. I I bounce back from this. <laughs> I'll be okay. You need this. Uh, I mean, isn't, isn't that kind of racist itself? That is kind of racist. That, that was racist. That's pretty fucked up. That was that's racist, nice. but it was a comedian. T- it was he was telling yeah. a joke. But at the same time, I was like, bro, I don't. <laughs> it is, it is I believe that really happened." I, like, I, had to, I believe that really happened to me. I mean, that's, that's pretty to. fucking savage, though. <laughs> that, yeah, that's, that's probably one of the most savage things you could do. And the whole boat give it out. <laughs> Yo, I couldn't imagine being poor and needing money and giving it back because he was just, yeah. like, from, from an area I stereotypically mm. was taught is mm. poor. Nah. That's fucked. Like, oh, this one this ain't even music. This is race. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> race banter it happened race banter with banter or <laughs> dope boy what do I have dope boy dope banter dope banter yeah let's see um I just got a cat his name is Bob oh, man Bob Beers he used he's a pretty cool cat never can run out of pussy <laughs> yeah, <exactly>. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta be kidding me um he's pretty cool um I put my dog on a track yeah on a song yeah yeah he's on a song whoo <laughs> Yeah, yeah. The Who Let the Dogs Out remix? Nah, it's uh, I was just, I was just spitting a freestyle. Oh. And like, like recording it. You know what I mean? Because that's kind of what I do. Mm-hmm. And my dog was in the room and he just kind of starts like barking. I just thought it was funny. Nice. So I just like recorded it, kind of put it on SoundCloud, just kind of like keep it, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's a nice memory, you know? It's yeah. Like with, uh, with, with like Apollo, Apollo like barking over it. I'm trying to teach my cat how to play piano. You know what I mean? You know, it's like, How's that working out? He's a little scared of the noises that it makes right now. It's <laughs> <laughs> this perfect. This is gonna be good. Are you it? All right. Nice. <laughs> well, that was it for the show. <laughs> man, we went through a lot of shit. We went through a lot of shit. We went through a lot of shit. We shouldn't even wrote down the plan. I don't even know why we write we, down the plan. Bro. We, we just <laughs> what did we talk about? What did we talk about? Well, what, we ice storm. Uh, we saw uh, ice storm. Right, having the ice storm. Frosty uh, as fuck, just like what? his hair. Oh, hey, hey, hey. Because he <laughs> bet against Brady. Hey. Never bet that. against Brady. In the last episode. But on this episode, we talked about state being fails. That's uh, fucked. I don't, we talked don't about know. preventable yeah. state fails. That's fucked. We right. talked about... Get better at it. Six I nines been trolling. Troll. Uh, rainbow troll. Still, like nothing has changed. I want that skittle to fiddle. Ooh. Yeah. Like that. <laughs> uh, that was not a good... Uh, that was like a... Like a uh. All right, cool. And it started off being music. It ended up in being race. We yeah. talked about some 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 banter to make everybody comfortably of, uncomfortable. <laughs> we talked about a lot of race stuff, and you guys might not get it because I'm about to offend a bunch of white people. Go ahead, say it. Go ahead. Y'all some racists. <laughs> Y'all a bunch of little racists out there. Well, and you offend white people them. first. I offend everybody all the time. All the on purpose too. Man, soon we just got a fuck coming. They're too easy to offend. Bro, I don't mean to. Mother's coming me knowing I stay with Clip. You know what I mean? <laughs> Never fucking out of safety either. No. Oh, yeah, hey, hey. Bobby free, y'all, hey. Hey, it's free. <laughs> Finally. Free, you know? Now we got fair hey, who free Bobby, next. Hey, we'll hold up. hey, man, I don't care if y'all free next. Bobby's out. That's all That's all we was waiting for. All right, we're not going to make weed legal here. All right, speaking of free, free the people. <laughs> Free the people. Fuck's yeah. Sake. yeah. That should be the new. That's, you know, we the people. Free, free the, the people. people. Yeah. Free, we should start doing people. that. <laughs> <laughs> start doing that. All right. You didn't know before, but now you know now. I'm this boy. I'm that dude. I'm D1. I'm the world's uncle. And then it's Mike Hancock. I'm Mike Hancock. Oh, there he is. And John Doe. John Doe. Oh, and if you didn't know, Jeff's still here, baby. All right, the belt don't have to be here because the, the belt is on. 
Yeah, ah, that, that, that. Championship mentality. That's how you win. This That's fool. the key, all right? This fool. Yes, sir. This boy. That this champ. Dwan. You feel me? Hey, hit the, hit the bell. Hit the like. Notification. Go ahead and subscribe. Stay tuned. Socials everywhere. Socials here. Socials there. Socials Insta any face. fucking where. On the Facebook. Check me out like on uh, Instagram. You don't know John Doe. Letter U. Don't know John Doe. Like Doe. Like Doe. Like Papa Doe. It's going to be yeah, in the description. John. It's in the description. You don't get it. You don't add some shit around. You know. He got you know, he all this shit covered. Y'all be safe. Hit us up. Let us know what's popping. All right. All right. Cut. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Cut. <laughs>